Hi there, this is Christy Marie Gott. Today I'm going to show you how to use WordPress theme extensions to add additional options and color and customization to your WordPress site. The site you're looking at now in the video is using theme 2011. And if you're familiar with the theme, it's the WordPress featured theme for 2011. There are several things about the theme that have been customized in an additional manner. The original theme did not allow these options, but with the help of the WordPress theme extensions, I was able to change the color of this menu bar from black to blue, and I was also able to do additional customization in terms of adding the sidebar so that it shows up on all of the pages. Prior to this, if you clicked on a choice and then uh, went to that page, you'd see the page showing up, which you could read, but the sidebar wouldn't show. You'd have to go back to the home page to get the sidebar. By adding the sidebar to the various pages, people can now access these choices when they're done reading an article and move on to another topic. Let's take a look at the dashboard, and I'll explain to you how you add the plugin for WordPress theme extensions. In your dashboard, go down to Plugins, and under Plugins, click Add New. And if you're, for example, if you're using the theme 2011, type into this bo search box 2011 theme extensions, and then search the plugins. And you can then click to download the plugin and click to activate it. I'm going to show you what this looks like after uh, I've got the theme extensions installed and they will show up in my plugins. Here they are, 2011 theme extensions, easy to use customizations for the default 2011 WordPress theme. We'll take a quick look at the plugin site. This is where you can get support and additional information. There's an introduction with screenshots of the plugin in action, uh, an explanation of the custom color options where you can tweak the website's color scheme. You can also add your own custom color settings and there's a theme extensions support forum. Now we'll go back to my dashboard and I'll show you what happens after you um, download this and activate it. Under Appearance, you will see two more items on the pop-out menu, Theme Extensions and Theme Options. First, we'll look at Theme Extensions. Now, this deals with the widget sidebar. If you put a click if you put a check mark in this box, it will enable the widget sidebar on pages so that when people go to a page, they won't just be reading the blog post and then need to go back to the home page to uh, look at your categories and sidebar choices. If you put a check mark here, it will enable the widget sidebar on single post pages as well. And a check mark here will center the navigation links at the top of the single post pages. You've got a few other choices here. You can left align the widget titles with the contents of the widgets. You can enable a sticky post as a headline. You can change the height of new images created in the header admin page. If you put a check mark here, you can enable custom colors. You can change the color values on the theme options page. And then you can also include custom CSS. 
Let's go look at the Theme Options page. Now, as you can see, for the post text color, I've chosen sort of a charcoal gray. For the post title color, which the default for Theme 2011 is a black title for each post you write. But with this, I was able to click here. I'll show you how that looks. You get a pop out and then you can go and you click a color and then you go back and click the shade of the color right here. So I, my post titles are green and the post metadata text color is dark gray. I've also got menu background color and that horizontal menu bar that you see below the header that stretches from left to right across the page which is blue, used to be black. In the default theme 2011, it's black, but with this I was able to change it to a dark blue. You can also choose a menu highlight color, menu text color, uh, background contrast color, page border color, page background color, and so on. And you can also change the, the layout, but these types of choices come with the default for the theme. Well, that concludes my brief introduction to adding the plugin for theme extensions to your WordPress site. It's definitely an asset because it allows you to make further customizations to your site. Thank you for joining me today. Happy computing and have a great day.